Hey YouTube, uh, this is going to be my first video on my iPhone 4. Yes, I have an iPhone 4. Uh, <laughs> I've never taken video with this camera. And until I'm able to buy my newer camera, I'm going to just shoot a few on here. Um, this is like my little office area. As you can see, this is my bookshelf at the top. I've got some graphic novels. I'll go into those more in another video. Some books. Um, most of my books are in my classroom. Yes, I am a teacher. Uh, I've got tons of school, hundreds. These are a bunch of my box sets and TV shows because as you're going to see here in a second, I have a lot of DVDs. Um, you know, I want, there's videos out there of you know, collectors that show off their their sets and all their special editions and everything. And you know, honestly, I don't have as much as a lot of people, but I don't I don't buy everything. Um, I just I can't. Who can? You know, it's crazy. It's funny that I, I wanted to kind of jump into the YouTube game. I'm a little late, I know. These are a lot of these on the second bookshelf for my brothers. A lot of these toys over here is too, but these are my Blu-rays down here. I don't have many. Um, again, all my D my uh, DVDs will be detailed later. There's your Scott Pilgrim, awesome. I don't have a lot of my posters in here later. Or uh, I'll talk about those later. Uh, my diplomas for college. But uh, the reason I'm shooting today, guys, and I want to talk to you about is uh, my magazines. Um, my horror magazine specifically. I got into them about two years, let me get down here, about two years ago, and I didn't know what to get, because, and I even looked on YouTube, and there weren't a lot of people out there that were doing comparisons on these these magazines. Um, I found that out of the big three right now, this is my favorite, Horror Hound, um, for a few reasons, and I'm going to go through a few of them here. Um, some of these are older. It's taken me some time to collect. That's a really good issue. This issue right here goes for $20, $25 on eBay. I got it for cheaper. That's a good one, too. That's nice to get. The Thriller cover, awesome. So, Whorehound. Okay, Whorehound, why is it better? Well, it's better just because of the display. Right here, the covers are fantastic. I mean, the detail, the color... Uh, the layout of the magazines, I'm trying to think which one I should go through here in a minute. Um, but the amount of detail that they, they give to each to each issue is incredible. Another great thing is um, it is $6.99. Yeah, yeah. $6.99 an issue. Uh, they're about 70 pages long. That's kind of what you're going to get with a Fangoria or Rue Morgue. There's even some other ones out there now, too. I mean, that's what's crazy to me. There's so many magazines. And just dedicated to horror, science science fiction, fantasy. And yet, I couldn't keep my subscription to Premiere Magazine. That thing went out of business years ago. Uh, and it was a great magazine. Um, Entertainment Weekly sucks. I hate it. Uh, for a lot of reasons, like maybe I could talk to you about that later. That's a good one. Look at this, guys. This whorehound cover right here. This is a special um, convention issue. That's for Killer Clowns of Outer Space. Look at that artwork. I mean, it is just fantastic. The detail on that is incredible. This is a five dollar issue. They do that for their specials when they have conventions. Um, I'm gonna open this one real quick, just to show you. This these five dollar issues are a little bit cheaper. But uh, what's cool is with the magazine, I mean, you got your standards. But look at the layout of the pages. I mean, it's flanked by these great vintage posters. There's ton. look at that, tons to read. There's trivia in the bottom corners, quotes from movies, fun facts. Those are always great to see. Uh, I mean, look at the pages. Just the layout. I mean, there's a lot to read. There's a lot of great information. Uh, I mean, if you're all about wanting the imagery of science fiction and horror films. This is the magazine to get. I mean, just on the layout. Look at that. 
It's fantastic. Another thing that's cool is they'll do toys. They'll show you the toys, the figures related to those films. Uh, it always comes with a poster. Here's the thing on Terror Train, which is fun. Um, it comes with a poster. They always have a great poster art. Ones that you can, I mean, look at that. That's great. That's an advertisement for Horror Hound Weekend because they have their own cons now. And apparently, their cons are fantastic. I actually just went to a horror con in Indianapolis, Days of the Dead. Uh, I will do a review on that another time. I will say I was a little disappointed. I'm not going to lie. But they do a little, a little thing called Collect This every month. And it just shows. I mean, look, these are globes, snow globes. But for horror fans, look at this. I mean, <laughs> it's incredible. They're great. Um, again, look, guys, the layout. This is all about movie posters for clowns. Terrifying. I've never seen Killjoy, <laughs> but that looks absolutely horrific. But yeah, House by the Cemetery, a retrospective. They do this. They do reviews, and they talk about it. And there's a lot of information. Even if you've seen the movies before, like I got a... Uh, Back there, you guys saw the Michael Myers issue. I love Halloween. I'll talk about that another time. Halloween's one of my favorite series. There's another. See, sometimes I'll do what the alt the alternate cover looks like. That's House by the Cemetery. Awesome. Um, so, so the layout is fantastic. You, I mean, you guys choose. You know, you you make the decision. But for six ninety nine, when Fangoria. His nine ninety nine, Rue Morgue is nine ninety nine. It's hard. It's it's hard to turn down Horrorhound. This is a great issue. The tribute to nineteen eighty one. A lot of great films came out that year. Okay, I do have another stack of Horrorhound. Horrorhound's now currently, I think, on issue forty nine. I probably have between these two stacks thirty issues. I'm missing a few, and in that thirty, I have some special editions. Okay, Rue Morgue. Rue Morgue is good. Um, Rue Morgue is... This is an old issue right here. Uh, as you can see, issue 41 was $7.95. They're now in the 140s, I think. So, years later, because this is an 04 issue. So, 10 years later, we're, we're at $10. What's good is, about Rue Morgue, there's a lot. Um, I can actually open up this first one. And show you, sorry. Don't want to get you sick there. Ugh. This is a great cover, and it has to do with the return of Clyde Barker. What's good about Rue Morgue is that this issue is a double issue. Um, it is 130 pages, 135 pages, and it still has covers, it still has the same price tag as a regular issue. They do this every Halloween. So if you want to try Rue Morgue, the Halloween issues are the ones to get. Uh, with Rue Morgue, it's a lot of stuff. Um, they do... I would say Rue Morgue actually covers more than Horror Hound. As you can see, it's packed with a lot to read. A lot of cool pictures. Um, they'll do toy news, too. They'll do shirts. They'll do DVD reviews. That's... I mean, they get into the music... A lot of people will sit here and tell you that Rue Morgue is better or the best because it's more, it covers more. That's, that may be true, okay? But I've heard someone say it best. Rue Morgue is more about horror lifestyle, horror culture. Because, like I said, they cover horror novels, horror music. I mean, they have advertisements in here for... Places that are like, huh, um, you know, Hot Topic and things like that. This is a great picture, too. There's a Lovecraft issue. Of, let me flip it upside like this. Sorry about that, guys. That's a cool issue about the Halloween remake. Um, this is a great... Another thing I have to say about Rue Morgue is that their covers are great. Return of the Living Dead. Great, great stuff. Um, this is another Halloween issue, and it's it's a really good one, The Thing. I've been getting a lot of the back issues of Rue Morgue, and a lot of times I just get the Rue Morgue based on, like this one, for instance. They talk about The Mist, which I like, and vintage board games. Poultry Guys is fun. You know, and that's one of the reasons I got it. 
Like, I love Psycho. This is the 13th anniversary Halloween issue. And so I wanted to read about The Exorcist. I wanted to read the top 50 horror comics. Uh, you know, I wanted to read about Norman Bates and Hitchcock. This is a great issue. Um, especially if you like classic horror. Um, this has a lot on Universal and the classic monsters. Um, also, I wanted to read about Hall excuse me, Halloween 3, Kirk Hammett. Um, there's an interesting thing about Disney's Haunted Mansion. So, see, they do all kinds of stuff. Prince of Darkness, that's a really, really underrated movie. And this is a, a good cover. Uh, Nightbreed cover looks great. So, again, Rue Moore covers a lot. I just like Horror Hound's layout a little bit more. It's a little tighter. It's cheaper. And it focuses mostly just on the movies. That's it. Uh, not a lot of the other aspects. But, you know, that's your thing. I'm really excited about Scream... I'm sorry about the glare there. Scream Factory's upcoming director's cut. That's going to be great. Um, I just got this one because it was cheap. And then I'm interested to read about the British horror. So, you know, as you can see, I don't have a ton of room orgs. I mean, I might have like 15 there. And I get them at a decent price. You look on eBay. I mean, they retail, like I said, now. As we get into more, you know, you can see the price tag there. It's $9.95. So, Fangoria. Let's talk about Fangoria here. Okay. I do not like Fangoria. Except, I have started collecting the original like, issues, the early issues, like, the earliest I have right now is right here, it's the number seven, with, uh, the Shining cover, you know, and it's fun to read, these are fun to read, because, at this point, I've seen all the movies, um, I actually have one open over here, it'll be easier for me to show you, um, so, this is the zombie issue, and I've been reading it, and it's, it's beat up, I mean, I paid a couple dollars for it, but it's uh, the number eight. I believe that is uh, October of like 1980. <laughs> so, um, Fangoria, the old ones, it's fun to read beca again because it's vintage. It's it's classic article. They do a lot of interviews, which is cool. It is black and white though. Now it's color. These are older, so I'm not complaining. I knew what I was getting into. I knew it wouldn't be like all glossy like it is today, but um, interview with Scatman from Shining. Here's an article on Zombie. As you can see, they do color photos, which is cool, and then they have the, the editorials. Horror of Dracula, so talking about some Hammer films here. Um, it's cool to see a Fade of Black. I've never seen that. Um, they always have interviews with a special effects artist, and they talk about how they did the special effects. That is one plus about Fangoria. If you're really interested in how they make the movies, this is your mag. If you want a magazine that just focuses on movies, extra tidbits, interesting releases, alternate releases, European DVDs, the toys, the shirts, um, yeah, that's Horror Hound. Uh, What's cool is they, they kind of do some sci-fi, too. So here's the thing about Empire. Great, great, great article on John Carpenter. So, you know, the, and this is right around the time that Assault and Precinct 13 had already come out. Halloween had already come out. And now, and The Fog. And he was actually about to do Escape from New York. So, um, they do a nice mix, too. They'll do some classic horror, like we already saw the Horror of Dracula article. And now they're talking about the release of Fulci Zombie. Um... Another reason I got this, too, and I'll just skip to the back, is the vintage advertisements. Um, I'm hoping to see some more. <laughs> the face hugger. Uh, I'm hoping to see some more um, advertisements for 80s stuff. You know, that's what I'm excited about. Because, you know, that's, that's when I grew up. So I'll go through some more of my Fangoria just to show you. Um, it's interesting. It's almost like Horror Hound. I'm going to look, look. Horror Hound's got its focus, right? In the center here, which is the Friday Night Remake. Then there's panels on the left of what they're featuring. Fangoria did the same thing. <laughs> so maybe Horror Hound kind of... See, I have duplicates. I need to sell that uh, other funhouse. Maybe they took... 
they took uh, some of ideas there for their layouts because it worked. But um, another reason right here, I want to read about Friday Part 2. You know, and I want to read about Miracle World from London. And Halloween 3, which I actually like a lot. And people hate it. Evil Dead. I mean, come on, man. Love that film. Can't wait to read about that. Extra. I don't know anything about that, but I'm definitely going to read about it. I've never seen Q, but I know what it is. Love Videodrome a lot. Love Cronenberg. Tom Savini. Just got to meet him. And Indy, great guy. Uh, so, The Hunger. Uh, Tom Savini, that's of course from The Burning. That's uh, uh, old Cropsy there. And see, look at the great pictures, the detail. I mean, my mom... <laughs> Bless her, would have never let me buy this magazine as a kid. Uh, and of course, I think about Gates of Hell, which is a great film. Okay, I don't want to go through all these. You get the idea. I've shown you all of them. Uh, the video is getting a little lengthy at this point. Um, so, guys, you choose for yourself. You know, Room Org, nine ninety nine. Definitely got a lot of stuff in it. That's my second pick, Fangoria. Is going to be your third pick. I only read it for the vintage issues. Honestly, <laughs> up to like issue 100. Because after that, the 90s were not a good time for horror. So, there's comics in there. I can show you guys those later. And then, of course, my pick is is easily Horror Hound. Got to go with the Horror Hound. Um, it's a great mag. And it's worth the $6.99. That's, look at that issue. The thing... That's awesome. Uh, Freddy vs. Jason. The Lost Boys. Uh, Women in Horror. That's a good That's a good one. Um, never got into Dark Shadows. The film's okay. I've never seen the show. Aliens, fantastic. I love that Rob Zombie cover. Uh, playing with Dr. Spaulding there. Or, excuse me, Captain Spaulding. What an idiot. Uh, Monster Squad. What, look at that cover. Jamie Lee. Great stuff. So yeah, Horror Hound's the way to go. So guys, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And uh, I gotta get these organized. I gotta put them in my long box. But um, please, let me know if you guys have any questions or comments, concerns. Love to hear from some of you guys. Alright, peace.